Damian Lotus. Well, after all that mild weather we've been enjoying here these past couple of days, it's back to reality and back to a January forecast here as we head throughout the next 24 hours. Let's take a look at the latest here, starting you off with a live look at the current temperatures and wind chills here across central Oklahoma. We're right there at 32 degrees freezing at Will Rogers World Airport, but look at these wind chills across central Oklahoma. 17 right now for Kingfisher and Okarchi. Feels like 13 for you folks waking up and joining us this morning in Watonga. Across the rest of the state, Feels like nine degrees, single digits up in far northwestern Oklahoma. Feels like 12 in Enid. Feels like 14 for you folks up in Ponca City. So very cold start here for your early Thursday. Here's a live look at our storm scanner. The freezing line is right along I-44 to the east and I-40 to the west. And we are seeing some showers developing, but fortunately most of them are happening south of the freezing line, which is going to help prevent some slick spots developing on the roads. Now here for Oklahoma City down to our south, we are seeing some elevated showers. Not exactly sure how much of this is making it to the ground, but it does look like we could see some early morning fog, some early morning sprinkles south of I-40 here as these continue to push the way up to the northeast about 20 miles an hour. So moving relatively slow here for Oklahoma City for our hour by hour planner. We're going to see temperatures starting off in the low 30s and we're going to stay there for a while as we head into this afternoon. We could see highs making it into the low 40s, but overall it's going to be a chilly, cloudy and windy afternoon because of those winds I was showing I was telling you I was going to show it here's our trash can wind forecast here for today so we're going to have winds out of the north gusting up to 30 miles an hour so yeah those trash cans are going to be blowing all over the place I've already had to go fetch mine a couple times this week so today's not going to be any different we're going to be seeing some very strong winds as we head into this afternoon even into this evening so future track radar here this morning will be tra still tracking some light showers developing across southern Oklahoma by lunchtime today cloudy skies we're going to see a lot of cloud coverage here for today by that five o'clock drive home we will start to see some showers developing across southwestern Oklahoma even some freezing rain possible in far northwestern parts of the state. This is going to continue to push its way through the state as we head into the overnight hours. So it's going to be a big change to the forecast. So for this evening, this is a chance of rain for this evening after sunset. Good chance of rain here for Oklahoma City, even a mix developing some freezing rain possible ice developing in northwestern Oklahoma and then even some snow out in the Oklahoma Panhandle. So very very tricky forecast here as we head into this evening and into the overnight hours. And speaking of tonight, we're still going to be tracking a chance of ice in far northwestern Oklahoma. And then just good old fashioned rainfall, even some rumbles of thunder here for Oklahoma City. But it does look like we'll see that broad area of some ice and slick spots developing on the roads as we head into the overnight hours. Because of that, we will see some slick spots on the roads here for central especially northwestern Oklahoma with some dangerous driving conditions possible in far northwestern Oklahoma because of those ice accumulations possible. And then after that, as we head throughout the day on Friday, it's going to be back to just good old fashioned rainfall and a lot of it. We can see some flooding possible Friday afternoon, especially for central into eastern Oklahoma. But by late Friday night into early Saturday, we'll actually see some clearing in the forecast. So the weekend still looks good. So for your Friday afternoon, Heavy rainfall for central into eastern Oklahoma. We could be tracking some flash flooding, so pretty interesting forecast here coming up over the next 24 to 48 hours, so we'll keep you forewarned on that. 100% chance of evening showers and thunderstorms developing here for tonight. Highs only in the upper 30s. And then as we head into tomorrow, 100% chance of on-again, off-again showers and thunderstorms for your Friday. Severe threat is low, but we could be tracking some flash flooding threats here for tomorrow. After that, we're going to clear out for the weekend, so the weekend still looks good with sunny skies, temperatures in the mid 40s. And then as we head into ne next week, we could be tracking one, possibly two more chances of rain right now. Doesn't really look like any good chance of snow or anything. But in the meantime, for the next 24 to 48 hours, make sure you're paying to the attention to the forecast and we'll keep you forewarned.